Hi everybody, you're watching Audio Tree Live. Welcome back. My name is Rita Lucia. Today's date is Friday, March 24th, 2023. We have an amazing show for you today. We have Soft Blue Shimmer all the way from Los Angeles, California. You guys, please show them some love. Follow them on their social media. If you like what you hear, this session is available right now on your favorite streaming platform through the Audio Tree artist profile. So follow us there, and please subscribe to us here on YouTube as well. I don't want you to miss a session. We really want you guys to be able to keep up with all of the new, exciting talent we discover just for you, just like this incredible band who's about to bring the house down. So without further ado, here is Soft Blue Shimmer. Go ahead and take it away, guys. Oh 
Audio Tree Live. You are listening to Soft Blue Shimmer. Whew, that made me feel good. That made me feel really happy. Thanks, guys. Yeah, that was so good. Um, we got to get into it. We got to talk about it. Shoegaze discourse. <laughs> it's a contentious topic, I know. But what's, what's going on with this shoegaze discourse? We were talking about it a little bit. It was cracking me up. <laughs> it's kind of like a word that doesn't mean much anymore. Mm-hmm. Um, but it means a lot at the same time, right? Um, yeah, we like touched on like different like places. There's like a lot of different American shoegazes. We play. We have yeah. like a lot of friends in Texas, like Glare, for instance, like holding it down there. And then there's like the heavier stuff. We, I mean, we just toured with like Tagabao, um, the whole. There's that whole like Philly scene and stuff. So many people writing about it. Um, but yeah, there's there's too much. No, nah, there's not enough. <laughs> Well, there's, like, these different regions of shoegaze. Like, do you guys feel like you fit in? I, I mean, you guys have such a specific sound. Um, you know, when I look at the packaging, this beautiful packaging with this record, um, there's, like, a lot of, like, Japanese influence. And I don't know if it's t- a too deep of a cut to talk about, like, Japanese shoegaze or, like, what that means to you guys or, like, your Japanese, like, influences. I don't know if I hear any of that in the music or if you want to talk about it. <laughs> um, no, yeah, we like, definitely draw uh, probably most of our, like, quote-unquote shoegaze and, like, dream pop influence from Japanese bands. I mean, um, like, we always, like, when we talked about, like, forming the band and, like, being a band, obviously stuff like Pains came mm-hmm. up, but the other, like, huge, uh, huge one was, like, Asobi Sexu. Um, mm. Yeah, I mean, we listened to, like, a lot of Japanese, like, dream pop too Mm. uh like a lot of contemporary bands um but also a lot of bands just like i don't know not from the u.s uh so i feel like we end up drawing from stuff outside of here more often than not in terms just like sonically like we're not too into like the grunge gaze kind of like which i feel like is the big thing right now in the u.s yeah Yeah, it feels like we don't really fit into like the classic shoe gaze because we also have like a lot of pop and Mm -hmm. um yeah we don't fit in like too much dream pop like we have like the heavier stuff too so it's like well we don't have a actual place that we fit in genre wise we pigeoned ourselves like in nowhere (laughs) that's good though you don't want to you're not afraid to reference yourself which is really cool um i'm glad we're talking about like influences and what you guys have been listening to and like it's cool that you have these these outside influences, and especially outside of the U.S. even, it's really unique and awesome and inspiring. Um, what have you guys been listening to, like, as a band? What are, what's something that you've been listening to the, in the tour van? And oh, even so some, like, ja- maybe some Japanese artists, like, who are your influences? Like, I want to I know. The fans want to know. We're dying to know. <laughs> yeah. huh. Someone I've been, like, super into lately is Moon in June, uh, like a dream pop band. They're super, super rad. Um, Yo, Kenzo, what are you what are you bumping in the van? Fleshwater? <laughs> Kenzo, you maniac. <laughs> yeah, they're a cool <laughs> band. <laughs> True. Uh, well, so is this band, Soft Blue Shimmer, and I'm not gonna I'm not gonna torture you guys anymore. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna let you guys go right into your next couple of tunes. Uh, the next one's Space Heater and Emerald Bells. Can't wait to hear it. Let's go ahead and take it away, guys. <laughs>
Audio Tree Live. That was Soft Blue Shimmer. So good. Great band. Great vibes. Good songs. Kenzo, you're killing it. Thanks. It's pretty hot in here. Yeah? Yeah. Can we get the AC going? Can we crank the AC, guys? Kenzo's hot. Uh, Kenzo is steaming up the studio. I mean, we expected that. Um, last segment, we talked about musical influences, and I actually want to pivot a little bit and talk about film and TV. And I, want, I really want to know where film lives in Soft Blue Shimmer's musical brain. Well, it lives there in a very <laughs> special place. Um, I don't know. We just, like, really love film and to the point where, like, when we were writing or not writing, but recording our latest album, Love Lives in the Body, um, we, like, made a point to watch, like, a good movie every night after recording. Mm. And we, like, wrote a list. Kenzo has a list on his note his notes app. Bring it out. <laughs> 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 this freaking guy. <laughs> the archival um, list. No, yeah. yeah. We, like, are constantly just, like, all of us. We watch movies, like, we'll have, like, usually at practice, be like, Kenzo especially would be like, I watched this on Criterion Channel recently. Mm -hmm. And we're like, oh, okay, we gotta go. We all gotta go watch it so we could talk about it. Um, so, like, does the f do, do the movies influence the writing? Definitely, yes. yeah. Yeah, yeah definitely. Like, go ahead. No, please. <laughs> um, a Brighter Summer Day is named after a film. Yeah, it's, a, it's an Edward Yang film. Um, that we watched yeah. during the recording, which is... It's like four hours long? Yeah, yeah. we watched it over three days. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So if the fans watch that movie, they'll know. They'll, they'll, know. they'll get How it. How special it means to you guys. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, yeah, I think all of us just have very, like... Uh, it sounds, like, super pretentious to say, like, a cinematic <laughs> brain, but, like, I feel like when we're writing music and playing, like, I see, like, scenes and stuff in my head, mm -hmm. and... Um, having like actual f movies to look at and be like oh that's that's a beautiful scene yeah. or that's like whatever these themes like they we draw them in and like are able to like kind of put them in our music in a different way you know it's the way that like media can like i don't know the word <laughs> go across like yeah, yeah. tv Intercept. into music the cross wires yes <laughs> yeah. Cross wires, yeah i love that oh thank you for sharing I was curious to know. Um, you guys have one more song. It's called Love Being. Yes. It's your next tune. Do you want to talk about it all, at all, or do you want to let the music speak for itself? I'll give you the option. <laughs> Should we let the music speak for itself? Yeah, let's let it speak for itself. All right. <laughs> yeah. Let's do it. <laughs>
That wraps up our audio tree session with Soft Blue Shimmer. That was really, really dope, guys. Thanks for coming in. Thank you, Rita. Thank you. Yeah, dude. Uh, I want to give a big thank you to the people behind the scenes who make this happen. The sound engineers. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the lighting and camera crew. And to you guys, our viewers, thank you for watching. If you like what you heard, please consider supporting the band by picking up a copy of Love Lives in the Body. It's beautiful. Hold on, let me put this label right here. It's really cool. It has a lot to it. You guys, you guys need to pick up a copy. And the session you just heard right now is available on Spotify, Apple, Bandcamp, or wherever you stream music. Uh, so head on over to the Audio Tree Artist Profile and follow us so that you don't miss a session. We love you guys from all of us here at the studio. Thanks for tuning in and see you next time. Rock and roll. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you guys want to do it for real now?